In this video we're going to come up with a pole equation for a circle of radius 2 of radius 2 that has been shifted across by 4 and up by 3. So we're going to come up with a pole equation for it. So start out with um, with our equation of radius 2 and then uh, move it across by 4. So you move it across by 4 and then you want to shift it up by by 3 shift it up by 3 so that so in Cartesian form it will be given by this so now to convert into uh, polar form uh, to convert in polar form we we've seen this before so um, so you would you would let's let's multiply this thing out first so multiply this thing out it would then give us this multiply this thing out that would then give us this and uh, and when you convert into polar form always keep an eye out for x squared plus y squared so hang on so uh, so when you simplify this hang on single number single number single number that becomes 21 equals 0 and always keep an eye out for x squared plus y squared so you can replace this with uh, r squared so uh, so this thing here uh, this thing here will become r squared and uh, and x is r uh, r cos theta so this thing here would be 8 r cos theta and this would be uh, 6 uh, sin r sine theta so that would then take us to that would then take us to here that would then take us to here and then now um, now uh, let's let's factor out the r first factor out the r so that will then give us this and then now complete the square so it's like me asking you to solve something like this x squared uh, minus 8x uh, plus a constant I don't care uh, equals 0 so this this is really high school stuff um, you should know this by now so completing the square imagine this is a a constant uh, and you want to get r on its own so completing the square would be r take away half of this constant here so half of this would be 4 and then half of this would be 3 sine and then you square and then you take away this thing squared which is this thing here and then you carry this 21 down this is us using completing the square which I'm expecting you to know so completing the square will then take us to here and then rearrange it to make R the subject so um, add this block take away this block that will then take us to here and then and then you would uh, and then you would square root both sides so that will then give us this thing here when you square root you get the positive version and the negative version and then uh, and then add this thing so add this thing so R equals this so if you punch this into Desmos so let's jump to Desmos punch this into decimals it would then give you this circle so now I'm going to I'm going to use a to represent um, the angle as a rotates uh, this is the equation of our straight line the blue line so as the so when the angle is zero this is our line here so it's pointing so now it's pointing at 45 degrees and then it will work out the radius so the radius is given by this I'm just going to copy and paste this down here hang on hang on so this is our R here copy and paste this down here and then assign a variable B uh, and then change all the theta to A so A represents our angle so as A varies it's going to work out the radius which we are going to call B so we can use we can use this to plot a point here that's our point as as A changes as the angle changes it will work out the radius which is B and then from that B the x coordinates the x coordinate would be given by this the y coordinate would be given by this so so we can plot our our dot so uh, as you vary a as you vary the angle is drawing this um is is working out the x and y coordinate and then it always works out the um the radius so by the when the radius goes beyond 90 degrees now so don't forget this is our angle at the moment is pointing in this direction so uh, as it moves across so you 
when, when it enters the third quadrant which is down here somewhere it's going to give us a negative radius so that that um, that will well let me illustrate it from the beginning so positive radius positive radius positive radius positive radius hang on so now it's going to give us so when it's in the third quadrant sorry hang on let's start again here so positive radius positive radius positive radius now over on this side it's going to give us negative radius negative radius negative radius and so on so basically it's drawing out that circle okay I hope you can follow that